yeah, I, I definitely had labels placed on me. Um, oh, yeah, I have had experiences where there's been folks who've found out that I'm deaf, I can't hear, they think I shouldn't play or that I can't play. Absolutely. I do believe that's a huge problem. I'm a gay athlete, um, and that is definitely a label that was placed on me. Um, before I even came out of the closet, it was like, you know, I, I was called names. As a deaf person, I'm not automatically given the same respect as other people. I have to prove myself in order to earn their respect. I think it just comes from a lack of misunderstanding. Like, a lot of people don't ask why or, like, how have you done what you've done? They just assume that, they'll just assume that you're not good enough without even giving you the chance before. And I think that's where mislabeling comes into play. It's like, you just need to learn about the person. You need to, like, get to know them. I think the positive side of it is that People are proud of their identities. They want to have something to, to speak to. But then the labels are something that are often based on somebody's outward appearance, their race, their body shape, their gender, their performance on the field, on the court. So again, our brains naturally label people as what we see. People don't like competition. I think we believe that we need to be the best. We need to be, need to be better than anyone else. So it's difficult for us to support somebody who's potentially doing better than us. For me, I'd say that's probably the, the biggest reason why. I mean, if you tell a kid they're bad 10 times in a row and you just tell them every single day that they're not good, they're going to start to believe that. And I think that's when it can start to negatively impact them. I think it could go either way. It could inspire a kid and encourage them. They feel that recognition and they're, they're motivated to work hard and do as well as they possibly can. For example, I had the support of my family and friends. They saw that potential in me and that inspired me to do the best I could. Now, a kid who doesn't have the same skill level as me could potentially feel insecure as a result of that. But that affected me in my younger years, though. It was like, am I good enough? Can I still compete at the level I want to compete at with my dreams um, and be gay? Because people would tell me, you know, maybe you can't. If a child is first exposed to negative labels, that's going to prevent them from building their skills and achieving mastery of their sport. It can have a negative effect on a kid because they'll start to believe and internalize the negative feedback they're getting. I think it's like exposure at a younger age um, to like a different array of people from all backgrounds and integrating them um, at the earliest point possible so you get rid of a lot of bias when they're growing up too. I think the best method is through education. We have to educate people about the deaf community and make sure they understand that the only thing we can't do is here. For a deaf player, the only limitation is that they can't hear, and people need to understand that. And that applies to all deaf people across the gamut. I think we just need to start asking questions. We need to stop, stop telling people what they can and can't do, and like start looking at what they've done and like where they can go. It's more about looking ahead than looking behind.
I think I have a range of attributes. Depending on the situation, I can be laid back or assertive. I like to think I'm smart. I would say that I'm pretty hardworking and determined. As a student athlete or an athlete, I'm determined, I'm committed, I'm constantly seeking to improve my skills and do my best. I leave it all on the court. Once I'm there in the game, I put my heart into it and I keep my head in the game until it's over. Definitely like dedication, sport, passion. I'm a hard worker. I am a hardworking athlete. I think I'm an athlete who's overcome adversity to get where I am. I would say I'm a leader. I am not my label. I am not my label. I am not my label. I am not my label.